everything has been done before. Nothing is original and no one is special. Hey guys, John here from Pencilish Animation Studios and I am an animator here working on Bjorn the Last Unicorn. I'm a traditional hand-drawn animator and today I'm going to go over straight ahead animation. In my last video we went over pose to pose animation so this works a little bit differently so let's jump right into Patty here. This is a rough scene that I've animated. Uh, this is scene 46 and this is where Patty says everything has been done before nothing is original. Uh, don't listen to Patty, that's pretty depressing, but we are going to check out the animation and we're going to listen to what I said. So, what's the difference between pose to pose and straight ahead animation again? Pose to pose, like we said last time, is when you start with a few pose drawings uh, just to get the beats right. And with that, then you work between those different poses to do all the in-betweens and breakdowns and what's not. With straight ahead animation, you're kind of going from the seat of your pants. You're starting with the first drawing and you're just feeling it. And with this, you can get a very unique piece of animation out. But at the same time, there will be some volume shifting that you're susceptible to. So what I did was I started with this drawing here. I heard the lines from the audio and I would say, okay, where do I want Patty to go? So I kind of wanted Patty to get to this pose here, which is pose nine. And to get there, I went in and just kind of roughly drew in her head as I went. Now at the same time, when I got to this pose, I kind of didn't worry about her body. I put in these arms afterwards. So I was just drawing her head in this moment, really focusing on her mouth. So with that, I thought, you know, she kind of comes up and says this line very quickly and very sharply. Everything has been done before. So I wanted her arm to come really come down fast. So now she's looking straight ahead at us. And with, with this way of animating, you know, there's a lot of times where I would hear the line and animate something and it totally wouldn't work. I had multiple versions of this scene that I've deleted at this point but um I would do a pass and see if her head let's say on this next drawing I would put it up here instead so with this pose I thought maybe she would come up and shake her head before she really comes up and gets her head in this general direction up here so I have her come down and then she settles into this pose but then she does she gets ready for her overshoot here. Now her head is finally in this pose. She's anticipating that move with drawing 48 here. And what is anticipation you say? Anticipation is a drawing almost sometimes in the reverse direction of where you actually want to go. So we're starting here, right? And we want to get over here. So an anticipation pose to get this curve to here, I may actually do the next drawing over here. Now she's getting ready and then bang, now her head can come down in that curve. So now her head is up here and now I'm going to finally put in that head shake that I was wanting to do earlier. So I'm going to start here, get her in the middle, get her to the re left. Now she turns, she's turning past that middle pose. This isn't quite a middle pose. I would say a middle pose would be here. And her eyes would be more like here. But she's getting past it just a little bit. And slowly coming into this more middle-ish pose. So that's really what I was doing for this shot. And I didn't plan it ahead of time and I didn't start with this pose or this pose. I started with this pose and just went along. You could see that a lot of my drawings get pretty rough 
pretty nasty halfway through because I'm just feeling it and I'm not really focused on the model at this point. I want it to be close but careful at the same time. Loose but careful. So I'm keeping my drawings nice and loose and then keeping it still on model so that when I go in to tie it down or work on it further, I know where her model is. The one thing is model. So most times your model will be off model and you'll have to go back and fix things. But the other thing is it takes a lot of time because you mess up and you fail, which is okay because failing is part of the process and failing helps you get to the point where you're finding the actual shot that you have in your heart that you're trying to create. So let's stop looking at my yucky roughs and let's look at this fully in between. Everything has been done before. Nothing is original. Everything has been done before. Nothing is original. Now there's a couple other cool things I'll go over that are going on here, such as the follow through and overlapping action of her whiskers. So when her head comes up, the whiskers are attached to her muzzle here. Her muzzle is going to pull the whiskers down and they have very little but subtle weight that is reacting to the air movement here. So when they come down, they're going to follow through. They're going to be pulled back a little bit because they're still following behind her head, which is heavier and has more of the action. So now that her head is already in this position, which is the same here, now the whiskers are coming up to meet her. And as her mouth moves, that also affects the whisker location because they are attached to her mouth. As her head comes down, the whiskers will stay up because they are still in that same position because they're so light. So that's going on. And then perfectly timed, we also have some squash and stretching happening here. So this is one of my major poses. It's a breakdown pose for between these two keys, 43. 48. We're squashing into 48, which then stretches into 52. So my first major stretch pose is going to be 50. Now if you look at my timing chart here, 50 is halfway between 48 and 52, which are these two keys. So now I'm keeping her jaw in the same general direction as 48, but I'm getting her top of her head going up. So we have some stretch, some squash, and some overlapping action going on as well. So that is straight ahead animation. And the video before on Becca, if you haven't seen it, is pose to pose animation. I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe learned a little something from me. And I hope you see Bjorn episode three and episodes one and two if you haven't. And please subscribe to Bjorn or to Pencilish Animation Studios. See you guys later. Peace. Be sure to subscribe to the Pencilish Studios YouTube channel.